Autodesk has developed a suite of 3D design applications targeted at people that want to express their creativity using the iPad. Their 123D applications include functionality that enables you to convert sets of photos into 3D models, design using really simple 3D modeling, sculpt forms and shape models just like you're working with clay, and convert all those designs into real-world objects. The latest edition is 123D Creature. It's released on February 3rd, and the write-up for Creature made it sound so cool that I had to try it out immediately. I wasn't disappointed. I was able to grab a copy for my iPad Mini from the Apple App Store at the special introductory price of $1.99. It installed quickly with no problems. The first screen gives you the option of creating a new creature, working with creatures you already created, or downloading a creature from the online community. It's funny and inspirational at the same time to see all the different creatures other people have been busy creating. The application interface is easy to use and seemed intuitive, at least to me. In creating a new creature, you start with a simple skeleton type body with a couple of legs and arms. There are controls to create additional joints and limbs, move them around, change the body shape, pose the creature, and scale it. Basically what you're doing at this point is rigging the creature's skeleton. It's kind of like roughing out the basic structure, posture, and size of the creature. I decided to give my creature a space alien look with a wide pointy head, uh, floppy ears, uh, web feet, and hands. I use the shape function to give the creature a pot belly. The next step in the process is to bake the skeleton, which I think is just a cute way to entertain you while the application takes a minute or so to crank the math and create the actual model. Once the creature model is finished baking, it gives the choice of sculpting it, painting it, or rendering it. The sculpting mode supports mirroring, so if you have mirroring turned on, then any change you make to the model is automatically symmetrically mirrored. This is really useful for creating things like hands and feet. You use the sculpting tools to push the surface of the model in or out. You can smooth it or sharpen it. You can flatten it or grab it. And there are slider controls that adjust the sculpting tool size and strength. I even gave my creature a little belly button. Since I was primarily interested in creating a model that I could 3D print, I didn't bother to paint it. But in the painting module, you have the choice of using a paintbrush, airbrush, or image paint. Like the sculpting module, the painting module also supports mirroring. The rendering module enables you to create images of the creature varying the lighting setup. You can add different backgrounds, apply different effects, and change the orientation. It also has a sharing function so you can print, save it to the camera roll, post it on Facebook, Twitter about it, or send it in an email. Once you're happy with the creature, you save it, and then you can share it in the community gallery or export it. I exported my creature as a mesh and have imported it into my solid modeling software. The next step will be to generate an STL file, slice that, and then see how it prints. I'm really interested in using this application to add aesthetic design value to my 3D printed objects. It may be a natural bridge between the sharp, logical engineering mind and the artistic side, kind of a left-brain, right-brain fusion tool. I'm really looking forward to using it a lot.